Well, the Tides returned to Harbor Park tonight as part of a 10 game homestand. They welcomed the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs to town for a series. Lehigh is the affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies, by the way. It's a pitcher's duel at Harbor Park. Scoreless in the fourth inning. Here's Chris Dickerson going to. It's going to drive in the first run of the game, and that's all the scoring that starting pitcher Alec Asher needed. The Tides win it 2 0 on turn back the clock night. And for more on the Tides' late season resurgence, Nathan Epstein joins us from Harbor Park. It's a lot more relaxed around here. You know, we're, uh, we're not really trying to do too much. We're not trying to hit home runs every swing. Uh, we're just trying to pass it along to the next guy and have fun. It's fun when you win, and this group has gone from ice cold to red hot. Early in the year, I think we had a lot of inconsistency based on what was going on with the big league team. And as a result, our pitching staff here was subject to a lot of uh, movement, and I think that was probably the biggest thing early on in the season for us. Since falling to 20 games below 500 to start the season, they've won five series and tied two others over the past month and a half. Starting pitching has been night and day since the last six weeks compared to what we were early in the year. And we knew they were good. The biggest thing that's happened to this club since the All-Star break is we've had continuity. Talk about giving the home crowd something to cheer for. Through the first half of the regular season, the Tides had one of the worst records in the International League, but they have the second best record in the IL since the All-Star break. We've been playing a lot of close games and, and winning the close ones, which is kind of kind of the reason why our record is kind of flip-flop. They're winning and the nation knows about it thanks to three ESPN Sports Center top 10 highlights in one week over this stretch. Outfielder Mike Yastrzemski had two of them. That's Mike Yastrzemski. The moment you're not thinking about it, you're not thinking about like, oh, I need to make a highlight real play. I need to, you know, I'm trying to make Sports Center. It's just, you know, I, I don't want this run to score or I don't want this ball to drop. So, here from family was pretty cool. Um, you know, nothing really over the top, but just, so, hey, I saw you on TV. Even though they've won 12 of their last 18, the Tides are a virtual lock to miss the playoffs. But the Orioles are right in the thick of the playoff hunt, which means a number of Norfolk players could be seeing time in Baltimore very soon. There's a lot of areas that we have coverage with. So whether it's arms, veteran bats, young bats, good player speed. I think we've done a really nice job as an organization of stocking this team so that there is opportunities or there is options for Buck, uh, whoever he comes. In the meantime, there's some good baseball at Harbor Park lately. In Norfolk, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Track.